Why exactly does a neurological examination remind us of a police sobriety test? Howdy! My name is Aaron Boster. I'm an MS neurologist in Columbus, Ohio, and in this video I'm going to be answering that exact question. Don't turn away, because all of that starts right now. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. During a recent live stream, a longtime viewer and moderator asked a great question. Why does the MS Olympics remind me of a field sobriety test? Well, I jokingly refer to the neurological examination when the neurologist has you do all the different things as the MS Olympics. And I thought that was an excellent question. Why is it that when a neurologist runs you through the paces, it reminds us of a cop's field sobriety test. Grab pen and paper and let's jump in. For starters, what exactly is the neurologist doing when they make you do all the different things on the neuro exam? They are testing out the different neurological systems involved in running your eyes and your spinal cord and your brain. It's similar to what a mechanic does when they're trying to figure out why your car is having a problem. Now, you're not a car, your nervous system's not a car, I'm just making an example. But when you take the car to the mechanic and say it makes this funny sound, the mechanic will run multiple diagnostic tests. They'll test out your braking system to make sure that's not the problem. They'll test out your transmission to make sure that's not the problem. And they use those tests to diagnose where the problem is so they can fix your car. When we think about a neurologist doing a neurological examination, it's darn near the exact same thing. We are doing various tests to understand the different aspects of your nervous system. And we divide them up into different categories. For example, there's a series of tests which looks at the cranial nerves at the base of your brain that run the way your eyes move and see and the way your face feels and the way your face moves and the way that you speak and hear and all those things. And we bucket that into a brainstem cranial nerve exam. There's another exam where we look at the sensation of your arms and legs, different types of sensations, vibratory sensation, pain, temperature sensation, and that's the sensory systems. We also will test the motor systems where we look at how strong you are and what your reflexes are like, etc. Now the system of interest for this video is the coordination system. And so there's a part of your brain called the cerebellum, which is in the very back of your brain, and it controls coordination. I'll give you an example. So if you're asked to take your finger, touch your nose, and then touch someone else's finger, like this, the system that helps you guide your finger directly to the mark is kind of like a missile guidance system, and that's controlled by the cerebellum, the coordination system. And so when the neurologist has you do this test, they're looking to see how accurate you are in your ability to hone in and directly touch that point. If you have damage to the cerebellum, then you'll have what we call dysmetria. Dys means you don't do it very well. Metria is measure. And so what we'll see is past pointing where, where you don't hit the mark very well. And there are a series of coordination tests that the neurologist will do to look at the coordination systems involving your eyes, so they may have you track their finger very slowly. They may have you do this kind of finger nose finger maneuver and they will look at your ability to walk. Now, let me see if I can give an example. And so when you walk, if you have a problem with the cerebellum, then you may be a little off kilter when you're walking and someone with cerebellar damage has what we call ataxia, which is their walking is irregular. Now, turning our attention to a field sobriety test. When a police officer pulls you over on the side of the road and they ask you to step out of the car and they do their testing, they are testing your cerebellar function. Why? Because if you have been imbibing in alcohol, you can temporarily inhibit the cerebellum. When you get drunk and you slur your speech and your eyes move about and you stumble when you walk or you knock something over, that's because the alcohol has temporarily inhibited your cerebellar function. I, I like to remind patients that cops stole that information from us. We neurologists have been testing cerebellar function for a very, very long time. And the police officer has been trained 
to assess cerebellar function similar to the way that we do in our clinics? That was a great question, Ben. Thank you for asking. Testing cerebellar function is one of many different neurological tests that make up the MS Olympics. If you would like to learn more details about the neurological examination we use to assess people impacted by MS, click the video that's on your screen right now.